collective. It's your girl, Spiritual Sage. So, listen. It just feels like you have someone who was really... This person, it's kind of like one person thought they knew, knew it all. And you have another person who was just really immature as fuck. Um, and I feel like the person who thought they knew it all was really naive as fuck as well. So, I don't know. Let's see, spirit. It, something came tumbling the fuck down and someone is just sitting in a whole bunch of realization. Okay? So, Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, allow me to channel this energy around my collective. Please and thank you, spirit. What's going on for the collective? Hold on, y'all. I ain't use these cards in a minute. Y'all see how big this deck is. Baby. Okay, Spirit, what's going on for my collecting? What do they need to see today? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have the sun. We have Leo energy here with the seven of pentacles. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I see it right here. Someone really invested in something. It's like they really, they thought about it. And they like, yeah, I got this in the bag. This is going to be the best investment. And even while this person went, because see, this is the person who thought they knew it all. This is the immature person back here. Like a knight of wands energy. That's exactly what that reminds me of back there. A knight of wands. And it's like, as the sun energy person, whether it was a Leo or, you know, just take what resonates. As this person was sitting here planting these damn flowers and watering this garden. See that bird right there? That was someone's spirit God telling them, boo, wake up. What are you doing? You're the only one working in the garden, okay? The person you're trying to create this beautiful, happy home for is out there doing God knows what. I feel like this person back here that has this flag, they like to get a lot of attention. They would do shit for attention. You see him on that horse? Look at me. I can ride a horse and hold a flag. This person... I feel like they were in relationship with this one. This is somebody who felt like, this, this sun energy, they felt like they could do any and everything, okay? It didn't matter what type of energy they got with, they could handle it. And y'all see this hourglass right here? It tells me that this person was here for a long time, but something was just like bound to come out, or I don't know, let's see. It was only going to last for a short period of time. Okay, and this person could have even got with this person just based on some sex. Should have been like a one night stand. Maybe they should have been together for one hour, long enough to have sex, and this person decided to invest in this. Mm. Keep going, spirit. Somebody's spirit guys was definitely telling them the bird was pecking them on the head, like, bro, wake up. And he shooing the bird away. Shoot, shoot, bird. Not knowing that's his grandma I'm here for somebody. Somebody's grandma was trying to tell them to look look up. Okay? All right, what's going on, Spirit? All right, we have three, uh, two more here. And this one, so you have the Knight of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. So, this Knight of Pen uh yeah, Knight of Pentacles is someone who's planning, right? It's like, there's nothing out here yet. It's like a blank canvas. So this tells me that this person was at a point in their life where they could have did anything. Hell, maybe they had options. I do see the three of cups there. But this person, either they didn't plan well or the person that they planned with, it just, somebody wanted to party all the time. And I feel like that was their immature energy, that night of wands. Somebody just wanted to fucking party. This person was real. The person that wanted to party a lot was that Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups energy. Real, um, how you say it? A sweet talker. Would like love bomb the fuck out of somebody. And this Leo energy decided to plant seeds with this person. And say, I'm going to make this person the Empress. That's what they said. But they had a Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Okay? This person was very flirtatious. Very fickle. Falling in and out of love. Sweeping folks off their feet. And this sun energy. I Okay, this is what I feel like. I feel like they had a choice. 
yeah. They had a choice between an empress and this young ass energy over here. But I'm telling you, this son person is somebody who said they felt like they knew it all. They felt like they could make this person an empress. They had the empress. Okay, they had an option of going toward an empress. But they looked at the, the things that this empress had, and this this person's arrogant. Because they would look at this empress and they would say, I'm going to make mine better. What? Yes. Oh, my God. That's what they said. And they got to planting and working on them when they started planting them seeds right there. And there was some pretty-ass flowers growing. I ain't going to lie. Some beautiful-ass flowers growing. But them flowers was fake as fuck. You can look at them and tell, child. And there weren't no real-ass flowers. That's why I wasn't much to do to them. There weren't no real flowers. It was all a fucking illusion here. And that's why this bird, somebody's grandmama, was pecking their ass hard as fuck on their head. Telling them, wake up. What you think you have, you don't. And it's bound to end with this hourglass right here. But yeah, they looked at this person, this real empress, and took this other younger version of this empress and said they're going to make a better version of it. Okay, let's get the tarot out here and see just what the fuck is going on. I am going to put my empress right here because I feel like this sun energy was watching this empress. Trying to make this younger. I feel like even the younger person and this Leo person, excuse me, this Leo person and this younger person was watching this empress. Trying to outdo. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. So, Spirit, what happened here? Spirit said I got the wrong card, so let me get the right ones. Because we got to see what happened. Because that's just crazy. Yeah, rumors, arrested. It's like they even, uh, in the midst of them trying to, both of them trying to make this younger person better than this empress, it's like they started a bunch of rumors about that empress to make this one look bad. And this empress ain't bothering nobody. Like, what the fuck? They sitting there co-creating with the universe. Ain't bothering no damn body. She has a castle behind her. This tells me that this person, they, they took care of themselves. This person was very down to earth, very natural. Someone could wear their hair in a natural state. Um, and I don't know why in the fuck. It's, I'm going to tell you the real reason here, y'all. This Leo energy, deep down, didn't even feel like, um, they felt less than, un, for some reason. This person felt less than this empress, and it kind of made them mad, so they turned away from this empress, got this younger version, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, and tried to make this one better. I'm telling you, bro, yeah. It's like, you didn't make this person feel less than. They felt that way. And this was someone who was really arrogant. They needed to be on top. That's, what, that's why they went and got this young, dumb person. Okay? All right, Spirit, what's going on? All right, Purify Obsession. I told you, both of them was watching you. Yay. And you sitting here purifying your energy. Okay? Not realizing, oh, shit. So I see altercation at the bottom. But you, so, this altercation for me is like the five of one. Okay, it's like competition. This person, instead of choosing you because they had some insecurities within themselves, they went and got with someone who made them feel inferior. I mean, superior. You made this person feel inferior. I don't feel like you did it. They did it their damn self. But they went and got with someone who made them feel superior. And Spirit says it was just a blockage. This person's own pride and ego was they fucking blockage. And now it's like they bound. They bound themselves to the situation that they cultivated over here, that they planned. Now, what this phase will end soon is the fact that something is coming out. And I feel like the truth about, you know, this person always knew who this empress was. But it was their own insecurities, okay? So the truth about this night of ones, night of cups is about to come out. How they like to celebrate a lot. And oh, okay, so with this jumping to conclusions here, 
It's like the moment that this arrogant ass person got with this young ass energy and they grandmama, whoever their spirit guy was, trying to tell them, look, pay attention, this is not going to work. When shit stopped working for this person, they may have even lost a job shortly after they got with this energy. It's like they had to work 10 times harder. Um, they started jumping to conclusions thinking that it was you. Thinking that you were the reason. No, it's because they they got with somebody who was working against them. Okay, I don't, I don't even know how to explain this shit. But somebody tried to blackmail this empress here. They was already starting rumors about you, trying to make you look. This person would go, because whoever you are collective, this person brought you around their friends. Okay? And... This Leo energy wanted their friends to think that this new thing was better. People, when they brought the new one around, and, you know, he was throwing her all in everybody's face, people would be like, well, what about such and such? And I heard such and such had a good job. I heard she doing this. Oh, no, man, y'all didn't hear she was out there, you know, just starting unnecessary rumors to make you look bad. This person knew what the fuck they had. They knew they had got with some childish bullshit, but they was overworking themselves because they didn't want to, like I said, somebody was very prideful, very arrogant. So even this person's own fucking friends was asking him about this empress, and he started trying to throw this one in their face. One of his own friends starts telling him about this Three of Cups energy now. Listen to me. Something coming to a fucking complete end because all somebody wanted to fucking do was celebrate. This man sitting here trying to manifest, cultivate this whole new life for them. And two of cups, three of cups. That's all she wanted to do is celebrate. So somebody starts researching the occult. For me, it's kind of like searching spirituality or studying tarot cards or hell, even studying spells or whatever. This sun energy is the one who starts studying spells. Not this young one. I mean, she may have been doing it with him, but someone was just so determined <clears throat> to make you look bad because they acted like a dumb dumb and let you go. And this is somebody who can't be wrong because they fucking know it all to the point to where they done fucking got obsessed with you. You ain't doing nothing to these people. You purifying your energy. They're trying to blackmail you, starting rumors. They jump into conclusions. Especially when shit started going downhill for them. And they knew what it was. They knew it was, look, bro, you don't know everything. You're not even trying to take the guidance that you're getting. Somebody dead grandmama was, like, coming to this person in their dreams, showing up to them. Like, would put signs in this person's face, and they would choose to ignore them. Somebody was stubborn. Somebody was stubborn as fuck. <laughs> so, somebody's friend... Came to them and told them about this little young energy that they invested in. And it don't have to be young, but someone was immature. They could have been the same age. Hell, they could have even been older than this empress. But they was immature as fuck. Yeah, it was fake. Thank you, spirit. What else? Signs and symbols. That's that spirit guy trying to get them signs and symbols from the universe. And they just know every damn thing because they guarded as fuck. You can't tell them shit. They hard-headed. Toxic. This is somebody who grew up in a situation where the man is... Uh, this person had a... What you call that? Complex. He needed a woman who was helpless. That's the toxicity that this person grew up in. This empress ain't helpless. She can sit there and think about something and get it. So he got, that's why the reason he got with the not a ones, not a cups energy. Someone to make him feel superior. Listen to me, y'all. Somebody got this person to feed their own ego. And all it did was create blockages in their life. He you look up there and get mad at you. This person even started getting mad at their friends. Because their friends would start telling them, like, bro, what are you doing? You walked away from this for that? I'm telling she out there sleeping around with people. If she wasn't sleeping around with people, this is somebody who like to get high, who like to drink. Just they like to celebrate too much and they were not classy with what they were doing. All of these rumors that this sun energy started about this empress came out to be true about this energy that he invested in. Like, duh. All right. Addictions. I just said it. 
Somebody was drinking and smoking and all that shit. But this person had addictions. Addictions to being superior. This is someone who... <coughs> they're not used to equality. Mm-mm. Because I feel like they had met they match when they met you. This person could have been like an emperor type of person. and But they're not used to that. They, they, they have to be on top. That is the reason that they got with this very childish. I mean, not a one, not a cups, three of cups. Very childish ass energy. Okay? And all these damn rumors that they out there telling about you, they could have been saying you... Drink all the time. Everything that they said about you collective is what was true about the person that they was investing in. And they was really trying to make her a nice ass home. They took real good care of this person. I see it. He was very meticulous with this garden, but them flowers was fake as fuck. <clears throat> what else, spirit? And then we're going to get the tarot on this. Performer here. Guidance. Submerged in some emotions. Hmm. Okay. So, let me tell y'all. This young person, I already said they were, this could have been somebody who was real clingy as well. This son person fucked up. Because they would always refer to you. They were obsessed. This Leo energy was obsessed with you. And they would always complain to this young person. And they got that young person submerged in their emotions. So it had them jealous of you. They didn't even know who the fuck you was. But simple fact that <coughs> this Leo energy couldn't stop talking about you. Y'all, something wrong with my throat. That sun energy could not stop talking about you. They was obsessed with you. And they wanted, with this performer card, they wanted that Knight of Wands energy to act like you. And, um, like, when she, when she would do childish, dumb shit, like she's always been doing from day one, but it just got to the point where he couldn't handle it, he would, there's that altercation. They would argue about you. And so now, you got this woman who's submerged in her emotions. She's got this older guy who is obsessed with this empress. She knows she can never be this empress. She's trying with this performer, but it just doesn't do. And with this new job, she starts to feel like eventually he's going to want the real thing. He got me dressed. Ooh, I heard it. He got me dressing like a... I heard it, y'all, so freaking clear because he desired you. I'm telling y'all for real, for real, the only, the only reason... It was one reason. The only reason this person did not come to you is because they felt less than in your energy. This person could have had more than you. They could have had more money. They could have had a better job. But it was the energy. And it had shit to do with the material. They felt less than you. So they got with this little young thing. But they was obsessed with you. And so it got this young girl and her emotions. Okay? That's when I feel like magic comes involved because now this young girl is envious of you both of them obsessed with you now because she feel like at any moment because he's taking such good care of her right she feels like at any moment with this new job that he's gonna leave her and come towards you so you have fucking lying someone starts lying Spirit tells them, proceed with caution because someone was projecting their energy. I feel like it was that damn sun person. This person got Leo somewhere in their chart. They just, and it, it ain't got to be Leo. It could just be the fact that they're, they're pride and ego. It's pride and ego, okay? It just period. What else? But I, like I said at the beginning, someone is sitting in a whole bunch of realizations. I just saw the card saying, yeah, they needed somebody who was codependent. Because they were co they were codependent to being to feeling needed, and so they got with someone who was codependent and needed them. They were not used to equality. That's the only reason this person didn't get you. But then they obsessed with you, and then this this little young girl that got, that they got with, or this immature person who cannot stand on their own two feet, is all in their emotions because she know that this person, if he telling her to dress like you and act like you. It's almost like whatever he saw you had. Somebody like Louis Vuitton. I see it right here. Don't this kind of look like the Louis Vuitton print? <coughs> it's like 
It's like when he would see you with something, he would put it on her. He was obsessed with you. Period. Tell him, y'all, now I know what the hell I'm feeling. It's weird as fuck. I told you he was stubborn. Your man was so fucking stubborn. He was really grateful for you. Okay, somebody's now leaving this shit all the fuck behind. Mm-hmm. There it is right there. And that's what's about to come out. That's what's about to come out. And the fact that this person is like, was I here just cheating? I feel like, hell, he was cheating as, to, as well. He couldn't have you, so he would go out there and cheat with people with the three of cut energy. But the person that he was trying so hard to make you, to make look like you, was obsessed with you as well. Because imagine somebody comparing you to another woman. Every time something don't go right, y'all start arguing about that person. It creates a blockage in the relationship. And so this person starts to feel bound. Your person starts to feel bound because of their stubbornness. They couldn't relinquish their stubbornness. And then the energy that they invested in, they are extra fucking emotional. They start getting obsessed with you. Both of them know you the shit. But he can't let go. And this is Aries, like I said. This is them emperor energy. Because he can't let go of his pride and ego and come on back to you. He just cannot fathom two people being equal. He looked at that as a fucking threat because he grew up toxic as fuck. He might have had a daddy who was toxic as hell and, and you know, always was cussing his mama out or always making women feel like shit. But what's really behind all that? When a man don't want to equal b beside him, what's behind that? Insecurity. That's why you have projection. This man was projecting. Okay? So his life starts falling the fuck apart and he look over there at you and you still... Pure as hell, purifying your energy. They try to tarnish your name. They mad because they really want you, but they just can't fathom equality. And now they're no longer equal because they own stubbornness, pride, and ego. And the fact that they invested in someone who was clingy and childish, all of that shit's coming back to them, bro. Kept this person stuck in the past. It's like their life became real stagnant, and you kept moving forward. So that realization that they sitting in is the fact, you know what, maybe I need to release control. Me being so fucking controlling is the reason that I'm not with this person. That's what they having to sit in. Whether they'll own up to the shit or not, that's what they having to sit in. Yeah, because y'all was meant to be. I, I'm telling you, the only reason, everything was perfect. They, look, <laughs> oh my God. They left an empress, someone that they were meant to be with, they're going to get some fake-ass shit and try to make this person be better than you. Try to rub that shit in your face. He was getting tricked. He was getting tricked like a motherfucker. And all that hidden truth, that shit coming out. It's coming out how this stubborn-ass person was using dark magic on you. This person, the stubbornness is the downfall here. It drove them to the point of using dark magic. That's not, in, that's not something that this person would do. But they had to control. Like, it would piss them the fuck off, y'all. They're obsessed. Obsessed with you. This ain't everybody's story, but damn sure somebody's story. And they led this person to a life of fucking trickery. And now they're just bound to it. They created a bunch of fucking blockages in their life. They can't move forward. With this addictions, it's like this person's addicted to being right. They know everything. You can't tell them shit. Um, they stubborn, they got to be seen, they got to be right. It's just like, calm the fuck down, bro. So, yeah, the relationship was magical. Emperor, Empress, yes. Magical it meant to be. But because y'all was equal, uh-uh. I'd rather go get some fake shit before I have a woman that's equal to me. What you mean she can go out there and work? What you mean she make a couple dollars more than me? What you mean? Hell no. Nah. This person's stupid. They stupid. And so because of that, they ass stuck in the past. Spirit gonna have to teach their ass a major fucking lesson here. I knew they were doing that damn magic, bro. I knew it. But it didn't start out with the damn person y'all think it did. It started out with the damn emperor. Cause his need of control. Obsessed with you. He never stopped watching you. He was the one starting these rumors about you. And then he got her involved because she all in her damn emotion. She don't know what to do without him. It started pissing him off because he would sit up here and see you standing on your own two feet. And then he got this motherfucker that's so clingy. And it would piss her off because she knows she couldn't stand on her two feet like you did. You was everything that she wanted to be and couldn't be. 
You was everything that he wanted her to be and couldn't be. But you was everything that he didn't have the development to deal with. Somebody's emotional intelligence is of a fucking three-year-old. It just period. So now they ass is sitting. I told you they're sitting in a whole bunch of whether they want to admit that shit or not. We're going to pull out the tarot and see where they ass is. I feel like they're somewhere in hermit mode. Um, whether they with this person or not, they feel lonely as fuck because now they're seeing things from a higher perspective. They realizing where their stubbornness, pride, and ego got their ass. No fucking where. This is where their stubbornness got them. Stuck in the fucking past. Stuck with a bunch of fucking drama. While you still over there purifying your energy. It's like, come on, bro. So, now I'm going to pull out the tarot. It's sad. But it's so sad when your unhealthy ass, I don't know, control. Wow. Wow. I heard it earlier. They was making this woman dress like you. When they would have sex with this person, it was only you on their mind. They were never into the energy. They got with that person to try to rub it in your face. You know what I'm saying? If this person is sick. That masculine has some sick ass energy. saw that ten of swords that shit crazy and i feel like you know he might be trying to leave that other energy behind and now she just yeah two of ones with the two of swords he's starting to see shit from a higher perspective now and he don't want to deal with her ass no more he's still obsessed with you whether he talking to you or not he been obsessed with you ever since he been with her he was obsessed with making that that needy person and empress. Ain't no fucking way. It's it's a vibration, bruh. Period. But he thought he had control enough to do that. Control is what fucked this person's life up. Their need to control fucked their life up. Anytime you would get something new, you get your hair done, you get your nails done. He struggling. You're trying to make sure she had it. Okay, she can wear what you wear, but it's the energy that comes from within. She was fake as fuck, and your ass was controlling and stubborn as fuck. So it don't matter what you went out there and bought, she was never going to be this empress. And that's what your ass is having to realize. Spirit putting him somewhere so he can clean up his fucking energy. Because he supposed to be a divine masculine. He not supposed to be sitting out here acting like no fucking fool. So Spirit like, man, clean yourself up so you can get this new life. Some of y'all supposed to, like, ain't no some of y'all. Y'all really supposed to be with this person, and they on some other shit. They stress like a motherfucker, man. Like, this person need their ass kicked. Yeah, there that sun again. There's that sun energy again. Some of y'all really dealing with it down. Leo here, bro. This person done lost their motherfucking mind. But see what it was. They, they had done learned something from the little child. Maybe he saw his daddy. I'm hearing beat on his mama. Maybe he saw his daddy fucking treat women like they was less than. And he just, I won't be like my daddy. As most young men do. But at some point, you grow the fuck up and you see your daddy really ain't shit. But old insecure ass, bossy ass, got to be the best in the motherfucking room. Got to have the biggest, swollest nuts. When you realize that and you're a spitting image of him, then you try to fucking change your energy. They didn't realize that until now. They didn't realize that shit until now. Shit crazy. So now they trying to work on they self. They get rid of this old thought process, the way they grew up. That old ass paradigm. That old traditional ass thinking caused this person a bunch of fucking pain and a bunch of damn setbacks. Brought in a bunch of fucking drama with his slow ass. Like, I don't understand people like this. Like, what the fuck? So envious. Jealousy. Instead of him seeing the child was equal. Six of Pentacles. Instead of this fool seeing the child was equal, his ass get jealous. You're not going to tell me this person wasn't jealous. And then they're going to go and take somebody else who was just as broke as they was in the inside. I'm not talking about materials. I'm talking about somebody who was broken. 
They trauma bonding together. They go get that person and try to build them a damn empress. You sound retarded. Sound like somebody stuck in the fucking matrix. That's some robot shit. Okay. The hell? I can do it better. All right, bro. Go ahead. Go on ahead. See how it's going to work out for you. Uh, everything they tried to do to you, it didn't work. Some of y'all even... It's like this. If this person started rumors about y'all, some of y'all got put in positions where y'all would get a lot of attention. It's like everything was the total opposite. They was jealous of you, just your energy, and then some of y'all got put on public platforms. Spirit really brought justice in your life, gave you a whole brand new beginning, because Spirit knew the truth about you the entire time. You was healing you wasn't bothering no damn body. Sitting there loving yourself, trying to heal yourself and move forward. But this person stuck in the past and they pride and fucking ego had them jealous of. Some of them was jealous of your look because they knew that shit that they had at home. If they wasn't, damn, wow, y'all. Some of them was getting surgeries for that thing at home. While you sitting here naturally beautiful, Empress Queen of Wands, you had that natural ass. Them natural titties. Them natural dimples. This person done went and got their damn cheeks pierced to get dimples. This person done went and got ass injections. Everything to try to look like you. Like, your person was sick. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Obsession. Five swords, five of one. They was sick. And it was all because they was broken. They need to heal. This person need to change their damn life. Like, that shit crazy, man. And then they sit there and wonder why all these blessings is coming into you. Because you never did nothing to nobody. That was his own project projection. Him projecting his own fucked up ass energy onto you. You weren't doing nothing to him. All that damn fake ass thing he had at home. Shit, some of y'all don't even know who she looked like. What she is or none of that shit. He mad because she could never be you for real, for real. But he want to drive around town trying to make everybody jealous with this half of a fucking empress that he doesn't call himself getting and want to brag about it. how you gonna brag come on bro you look stupid even his friends was telling him what about oh girl oh man nah she a hoe nah man she was out here doing this doing that and then they see you on a platform your person <laughs> baby spirit has a way the truth will always come to light and that's just period mm -hmm. and they was angry about it so fucking what go heal you're not going to do this empress wrong. She ain't did shit to you. She was healing. She came up out of her addiction. She came up out of her low vibrational energy and healed herself. And you was mad about that. You was mad because she didn't need you. Like that right there should let you know something is wrong. Why do I feel like I need to be needed? Why the fuck do I feel like I know everything? Why do I have to have control? Like, bruh, oh my God, making my ass ache. Damn. Now they looking stupid some damn well. Because they, they stuck in the past. And until they release their thought patterns, that old traditional ass robot stuck in the matrix ass thinking and come up out the fucking vibrations. This is someone who's supposed to be on this spiritual path. This is my spiritual card. This person's supposed to be on the spiritual path with you. Spirit is forcing them to clean up their fucking energy. So they can, too, get a new life. They thought they could just go out there and buy it. For some of them, they had a good job. And they thought they could buy your energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't make sense. You truly had two people who were stuck in the Matrix, and you had someone who was on the 5D. They would have never understood their energy. Never. They would have continued to go and get these injections and all of that shit, and they would have never. Okay? And that's what was pissing them off. She didn't know what two and two was. He got with somebody who didn't know shit because that's, you know, it made him feel like he was on top of the world. Like something is wrong with you when you feel like you have to have that much fucking control. And you see what having that much control did? It blocked his entire life. Kept him stuck and stagnant. Because he wanted to be with children. You hear, I got my window open. You hear, he wanted to be with children. Okay, now you got a childlike fucking life. Either you deal with it or you clean it. If you want a new life, you can clean your motherfucking energy up. Or you can stay stuck in that fake shit full of chaos and conflict. It's up to you. Spirit was trying to give his ass a leg up. That was that bird thumping on his head and his slow self shooing the bird away like, baby. 
Okay? So I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all, this person, spirit done put their ass in hermit mode so they can go through these damn changes in the here and now. Okay? Because that community that they had of a family or whatever the fuck, it was dysfunctional. It was toxic as fuck. They was doing the same shit. Generations of people doing the same shit. Round and round and round. Nobody ever changed. Your person's a divine masculine. So what does that mean? They were being challenged this lifetime to break generational curses. Break the generational cycles of the shit that people did before them. Right? This person was gifted with a beautiful mind. They had beautiful opportunities. But the moment that they did that shit against that empress, I love it. You saw the card stuck in the past and bound to the current situation. And didn't nobody do that shit but them. And then they want to jump to conclusions thinking you throwing magic. No, baby. No, 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 no. And then they confuse how you still getting upgrades. Because she ain't doing nothing to you. It's your own fucked up ass need for control. Anyway, spirit, because what we at? 36 minutes too long on this energy. Got somebody who truly had feelings for you, but they couldn't even let themselves just be. They couldn't even let themselves be. Some of them had fell in love with you day one, and they, they could, you couldn't have that type of control over them. It was all about control for this person. Like, you wasn't even trying to have that control. Y'all was supposed to be equal. Y'all was supposed to be building a fucking empire. No, he wanted to go out there and build a fucking Barbie house. A strong fart come through. The whole shit fell down. Like, bro, come on, man. And you sitting up here in this castle back there. You see that castle back there? Yeah, that what you sitting in. You ain't playing with these folk. They want to be a Barbie houses and shit. Spirit, what messages do you have? Heart chakra. Go with your heart, bruh. I said they had fell in love with you, but they didn't want you to have that type of control over you. Who is you to have? Make me y'all be in my feelings. Like, right, bruh, chill your ass the fuck out. Y'all was supposed to be in a family. Y'all was really supposed to be building an empire together. They unhealed ass heart. That's what that was. This person's unhealed heart. I really do hope... I, I do. I hope they're accepting it for what it is. It didn't have anything to do with you or anyone else. It was their own need to control. All that arrogant pride, that ego, that, it, you know, anger, you know, it, it just kept this person stuck in the past. And this is someone who blames everybody else for their life not going right. If they stuck in track, oh, it's the Empress's fault. Like, bruh, get a hold of yourself. Come get a hold of yourself, bro. So, you guys, if this is your emperor, continue to send this person love and light. Pray for them. Help them to heal, child. I know for a fact mine was on that shit. And I still pray for his head. Ain't no sense in me coming out of character. I'm When you are healed, you don't get vindictive. Vindictive ain't even in your vocabulary when you are healed and being the highest version of yourself. But your person... Oh, yeah, that was vindictive as fuck. See what that vindictive energy gets you, don't you? Okay? So don't get on this person level. Don't scoop down to their level at all. Continue to pray for their ass. Send them love and light. Because that's what they need. You got two dummies in the same room. Don't know their asshole from the mouth. They don't. I'm the blind leading the damn blind, child. Okay? That's what I have for y'all. It's your girl spiritual sad. And they ain't going through karma. It just period. You cannot treat a divine feminine, like masculine or feminine, if they're in their pure energy and they ain't fucking with you, your mama or your dad, they ain't bothering nobody. You cannot do what the fuck they done. They was obsessed with your energy. They were obsessed with making you look bad, tarnishing your name. And if some of y'all have a platform, because I just heard it, if some of y'all got a platform, it wasn't nobody but him. He was the one doing that shit. Him and his insecure ass girlfriend. Because he damn sure wasn't no empress. Mm -hmm. That wasn't no damn empress. Childish as fuck both of them was. But the only reason she got on that level was because he was obsessed with you. She trying to have conversations with him and make love to him and he only thinking about you. So of course it was going to get her submerged in her feelings. So if y'all have been having any bullying and thing, these people sitting up here wasting good time creating all these damn accounts like my uh... <laughs> 
Ooh, she don't think I know that was her in the damn comments yesterday. I went on and commented and smiled because I already know. Spirit, let me know what it is. Like, bruh, you ain't fooling me. You are Mary Lou. One of their names is Mary Lou. One of my karmics friends and uh, him, their names is Mary Lou. Y'all see that shit in the comment? Give her a high five. Inside Joe. Let her know we know what the fuck is going on. Okay? Anyway, that's what I have for y'all. It's your girl, Spiritual Sage. Like I said, don't get down to the E4 level. Continue to pray for them and go about your business. You ain't stopping. Spirit still blessing you. Because you did nothing wrong. You hadn't done anything wrong. Okay? All right. Till next time.